Colonel Pavel Kropotov, the commander of the Russian Armed Forces 59th Guards Communications Brigade has been killed as a result of the Ukrainian Army's rocket attack on the military headquarters located in the occupied city of Luhansk, Ukrainian telegram channels reported. The Russian media confirmed the reports about Kropotov's killing but did not reveal the location where it happened. It should be noted that on April 13, Ukrainian armed forces attacked the factory and military headquarters in the city of Luhansk with the use of Storm Shadow cruise missiles provided to Ukraine as part of a military aid from the UK. As a result, a large number of military equipment was destroyed. Information about casualties has not been disclosed. U.S. Speaker Johnson wants to compel Biden to provide ATA CMS to Ukraine. Speaker of the House of Representatives Mike Johnson proposes that Congress compel President Joe Biden to provide ATA CMS to Ukraine. However, the transfer may be delayed according to the corresponding bill. The document proposes that President Biden should be obliged to transfer long-range ATA CMS to Ukraine as soon as is practicable. This will help Ukraine defend itself and achieve victory against Russia. However, as the bill specifies, if the president determined the transfer would be detrimental to the national security interests of the United States, the president may withhold such transfer. In this case, Biden will be obliged to notify the Congressional Defense Committees, the Committees on Appropriations and Foreign Relations of the Senate, and the Committees on Appropriations and Foreign Affairs of the House of Representatives of such determination. Last year, Ukraine requested the transfer of long-range ATA CMS missiles from the United States, which are capable of destroying targets at a distance of up to 300 kilometers. Ukrainian soldiers can launch them using HIMARS multiple launch rocket systems. Last October, the Ukrainian armed forces launched a missile attack on the airfields in Berdyansk and Luhansk. Russians said that ATA CMS missiles were used. Later, the White House confirmed the transfer of such weapons to Ukraine, but with a range of up to 165 kilometers. However, American media reported that such missiles were transferred in small quantities. After this, the question of transferring ATA CMS at a range of 300 kilometers remained relevant. Top U.S. General Charles Brown recently stated that possible transfer is not as risky as it was before. A U.S. general stated that Russia's restrained response to a series of recent attacks by Ukrainian drones deep into Russian territory allowed the Pentagon to adjust its risk analysis for sending ATA CMS. China's largest bank refuses to accept Yuan China's largest bank, ICBC, as well as three other credit institutions, China City Bank, Industrial Bank, Bank of Taizhou and Bank of China, have stopped accepting payments from Russia in Yuan, sources in the Russian business community told Izvesha. According to them, the situation worsened sharply at the end of March. About 80% of transactions began to be returned to the senders. Today, transferring Yuan to China is a big problem, which is why the import of equipment in April was difficult noted one of the publication's interlocutors. A small amount of payments are made through small Chinese financial institutions, another source said, but they are also beginning to follow the example of large banks and introduce restrictions, says Alexei Razumovsky, commercial director of the Empire Rus company. Payments going to China first hang for a long time, then the client is asked to fill out additional forms, a check begins, and then the operation is refused without explanation, Razumovsky said. The information was confirmed by the General Director of the Business Council at the Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Alexei Egamin. According to him, payments for industrial goods have become especially complicated, but payments for consumer products are still going through. New restrictions are associated with the risk of secondary sanctions from the United States, reminds General Director of First Group, JSC, Alexei Poroshin. 
He emphasized, despite Russia's friendship with China, Chinese banks are not going to enter into confrontation with Western regulators. Problems with settlements began at the end of December 2023 after U.S. President Joe Biden allowed the U.S. Treasury to impose secondary sanctions against companies and financial organizations of third countries for cooperation with Russia. At first, Chinese banks refused to accept payments from Russia in dollars because they were tracked by the United States. But already in January, several credit institutions refused to conduct transactions in yuan. Among them are Ping An Bank and Bank of Nongbo. The Bank of China also began requesting data on whether the operation is connected with the self-proclaimed LPR, DPR, Crimea, Iran, North Korea, Cuba or Syria. In addition, the bank clarified whether the sender or recipient of the payment is related to the Russian armed forces.